Agribusiness. What does it mean? To the Pearl of Africa, agriculture is a critical sector, feeding the entire nation, contributing over 25% of the GDP, while also providing immense opportunities to Ugandans. Why agribusiness is important to DFCU uh, is deeply embedded in where this sits uh, with the economy in which we operate. 70% of Ugandans are involved in agriculture, and if you're going to do any socio-economic transformation and uh, really scale up this economy, we must finance agriculture, we must modernize it, we must turn it into a real business. The agribusiness sector is well diversified and has given numerous subsistence and commercial investment opportunities along the value chain. Opportunities that have been exploited by individuals and businesses who have made differences in the lives of countless Ugandans. Uh, here at Sunfish Farm started in 2005, that's when it was registered and uh, the real production started in 2006. It started with the construction of ponds. On a monthly basis we produce about 1.5 million fry and that 1.5 million fry is sold, 40% is, sold, is, uh, is taken to our cages. We have cage farming at the lake, Victoria which we are growing fish that act as our grow out. We started off in 2011, uh, that's when we broke ground. We have three farms, um, our farm one which is open-sided houses, that is what we started off with. And um, yeah, as we speak right now, we're, we're processing around 20,000 20, birds. Our abattoir is geared to do a million birds and we're actually running right now at 35% uh, of capacity. By then to try in the banks, during the time when I was young, I participated in rural cultivation and then I joined a casual college where I went to a farm institute. That one again built me further and it has made me now passionate about farming. I'm a reference point in the whole region in case somebody wants to establish an enterprise, especially on uh, fruit farms, I'm always contact number one. Our greatest success is that we have been able to move from a mill that was milling 150 tons of cane to a meal of 350 tons of cane. I've moved from a distillery plant that was producing uh, 5,000 liters to a plant that will give me over 10,000 liters. We have expanded our plantations from a nucleus of 450 to 3,500 as of now, because our target is to have 10,000 acres of cane. However, as profitable and impactful as agribusiness may be to our lives, it also has its risks, some of which can be addressed and protected against with bank insurance services, which give farmers a sense of comfort. So agriculture insurance helps in that, one, it will protect against, in the, for the yield, against the risks that, uh, such as bad weather, heavy rainfall, or, you know, pests and such things, multi-peril uh, kind of risks, yeah. It's something that many of us actually take for granted until we actually see. DFCU Bank is proud to be contributing to the development of a vibrant agricultural sector where businesses are thriving. We're well positioned to continue providing customers with unique value propositions and quality services. I can tell you over 20% of our lending book has been dedicated to agriculture. And we have seen people coming up to take loans to support the activities. And that has been growing over time. We have one of the largest footprints in the country. So we are actually located everywhere. In terms of accessibility to farmers, we are very accessible. So we can actually take services very close to the farmers. I to bank Business, 
So na India on end the bang number ku DFC yung ina save for loan. You save money and they give you a loan. Nengamba eh, then saving Omotu na yingira nga mokene yena 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 mojude, okuva kuwa irashe zipaka kuvigere. Na yati neba mwaya tendi inga ko. Ye banka jenarinda, omotu mwaya yingira, nga wali. Let it be a rainy season. We just enter our bank, ati neba tsaadi inga. DFCU and Rabobank are committed to supporting farmers and contributing to help enhance the agribusiness sector through financial, advisory, value chain, and market development. DFCO Bank, together with the Rubble, the Rubble Foundation, pulled together resources, totaling $2.8 million, to establish an agribusiness development center. This is basically a training arm of DFCO Bank, and uh, having regional presence in all the regions of Uganda, and it provides capacity building to cooperatives and farmer groups Basically, to build their capacity and make them bankable, and we are looking at a sustainable relationship with the bank over a longer period of time. In Uganda, we see a lot of organizations offering financial literacy services, uh, trainings in, in this area. But what, what makes a difference is that uh, our partners are, and our members of our organization are banks. So we are very close with our colleagues in the bank, in the DFCU bank, um, so that it's easier to, to link the farmers and the organizations that are ready for financing directly to the right products. As Uganda looks ahead, it's important for us to prepare for the various developments and growth in the agribusiness sector and be ready to adopt the changing times to capitalize on opportunities that may arise. You know, we are in a global society today. We are in a global world. And uh, being global, that means Ugandans have to prepare themselves for a stiffer market. And in preparing one for a stiffer market, needs really Ugandans to go fully scientific. We have really to go modern. The future of agribusiness is more than just agriculture. After agriculture, there is processing. In Uganda, um, we are mainly doing agriculture because now, like, we are, there are very few Ugandans, very, very few, about not more than four or five, or uh, running a sugar plant. But now, this is me processing sugar cane. Yeah? But all, in, anything from agriculture can be processed into something and you add value to it. Yeah? And that's the, that's the job for us, the young people. Uh, we are seeing the future of agribusiness in Uganda and maybe the region going to a more value-added uh, production where the, the demands are going to be for value-added product in the near future. At DFCU, we're dedicated to understanding your business and providing you with agribusiness solutions that will help you enhance your business and boost your productivity. So DFCU have been our main bank. We don't bank with any other, any other uh, banks and obviously we don't plan to move on with any other banks. Thank you DFCU for the support you have given to Sun and for choosing Sun as one of uh, your business uh, partner in the line of aquaculture industry. With your support, SAN has been able to uh, make significant contributions in the industry. SAN is being referred to as a model farm in East Africa. And through the support from DFCU, we are producing more seed and selling to other small farmers. And as such, the industry is growing and we see more fish production and food security being guaranteed in Uganda and in the region with your support. Thank you. I would still want to appreciate DFCU because when the storm hit, 
Korean bank. They, have, they would have refused us to come on board. But they will come us. I said with the soft hands, with the gloves, and with the patience, and with the open-mindedness, and with a lot of encouragement. So, I said, I can't say that 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 I can not say that i can not say that if you walk into our doors, come see what we do and take advantage of the opportunities and services that we provide.